I'm going to show you how to write recurring decimals as fractions without a calculator. So remember what recurring is. This top one, 0.6 recurring, is just the same as 0.666 with those sixes never ending. So our job is to try and get rid of these decimals and rewrite it as a fraction. So in order to do that, I've got these steps I'm going to follow. So I'm going to write my recurring decimal, so 0.6 recurring, equal to a letter, and I'm just going to call this letter X. So that's my first step. The next step is to calculate what 10X is. So I'm multiplying my letter X by 10, which means I have to multiply this number by 10 as well. So when you multiply by 10, the decimal moves one place to the right, so we're going to end up getting 6.6666, which is the same as 6.6 .6 recurring. Now, step number three, we have to subtract this 1x from 10x. So I'm going to write that out. I'm going to show all my working out. So I'm doing this larger one, so 10x, which is 6.6 .6 recurring, minus the 1x, which is our original value, 0 0.6 recurring. So by doing this, we get rid, we're getting rid of those recurring decimals. Look, 10x minus 1x is 9x. And on the right-hand side, if I minus this 0 0.6 recurring, it gets rid of those recurring decimals here, and I'm just left with the whole number 6. So the last step is to solve this equation to find x. So because x is being multiplied by 9, the opposite is to divide by 9. So I have to divide by 9 on both sides of the equation to keep it balanced. So I'm left with 6 over 9, which is our fraction. But we can simplify it because both of these numbers have a factor of 3. So I can divide the top by 3 and the denominator by 3 as well. So there's our final fraction. So 0 0.6 recurring, when we write it as a fraction, is the same as 2 over 3. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly the same thing for the next one. So just remember that the dot is above the 7, so this number is the same as 1.777 with those 7s never ending. So remember, step number 1 is to put our original number equal to the letter X. So I'm going to write X equals 1.7 with the dot. Then step number two is to calculate 10x. So I'm multiplying x by 10 on the left, which means I have to multiply this number by 10 as well. So the decimal moves one place to the right. So I'm left with 17.777, which is seven recurring, like that. So step number three, just like before, we have to subtract. So you're doing the larger x minus the smaller x. So we've got 10x minus 1x. So we're doing this larger number here, 17.7 recurring, minus the original number, 1.7 recurring. Now, remember, we're doing this to get rid of those recurring decimals. If we do 17.7 recurring minus 1.7 recurring, well, you can see we're automatically getting rid of those parts, but we're also doing 17 minus 1, which leaves me with 16. So, 10x minus 1x, well that's 9x again, I'm going to carry on up here. And that 9x is equal to 16. So the final step is to solve the equation to find x. Because x is being multiplied by 9, the opposite is to divide by 9. So we divide by 9 on both sides of the equation. So I'm left with x equals 16 over 9. And we can't simplify this fraction. So there we go. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bit harder. So this time it's a little bit different because we have two numbers repeating after the decimal instead. So we've got 4.636363. So we've got both of those numbers repeating instead of just having one repeating like in the previous two examples. So that means step number two is going to change. Instead of calculating 10x in step number two, we now calculate 100x 
because there are two numbers after the decimal that are repeating, we want to multiply by 100 so the decimal moves two places to get rid of those recurring decimals. Well, let's have a go. So I write my x equals to start with, so it's equal to the original value. Then I have to work out 100x, so multiply both sides by 100. So if I times this by 100, the decimal moves two places to the right, so I'm left with 463.63 recurring, because those numbers are still repeating after that new decimal. Now, step number three, just like before, we have to subtract. So you're doing 100x minus 1x, so the bigger number here, minus our original value and then we can work this out so 100x minus 1x is 99x on the right hand side well when I subtract these I've got the 0.63 recurring minus the 0.63 recurring so we've managed to get rid of our recurring decimal here then we have to subtract these numbers as well so 463 take away 4 is 459. So the last step, step number four, is to solve the equation. So I need to divide by 99 on both sides of the equation. So here's my fraction. Although I can simplify this fraction, I can divide both the numerator and the denominator by three. So when I do that, on the top, I now have 153 and underneath I have 33 and I can actually divide that by 3 again okay 3 is a common factor in both the numerator and the denominator so that leaves me with 51 over 11 so that's the final fraction in its simplified final version okay so there you go I've got one more example to finish where we have more than two repeating numbers after the decimal last example we now have three numbers that are repeating after the decimal point so this number up here looks like this it's 0 0.851 851 851 and so on okay so they keep repeating themselves so we need to try and get rid of these three numbers that are repeating after the decimal point so step number two is now multiplying x by 1000 because if we multiply by a thousand the decimal point moves three places to the right so we can get rid of those repeating numbers so let's have a go so just as before we start by writing x equals with our original number then step number two this time is to calculate 1000 x so if I multiply this number by a thousand, the decimal moves three places to the right, so it goes to here. So we're left with 851.851 recurring. So those numbers after the point are still recurring. Okay? Now, step number three, just like before, we have to subtract. So you're doing 1000x minus that single x value. So we've got the big number minus the value that we started with and now we can subtract so 1000x minus 1x is 999x on the right hand side if I subtract these numbers well I've got a 0.851 repeating minus another 0.851 repeating so they go to zero and then I've got 851 take away zero so I'm just left with 851 so the final step is to solve the equation. So I need to divide both sides of the equation by 999. So I'm left with this fraction. Okay, this fraction, it does simplify. It's quite a hard one because the common factor is not that obvious. The common factor is actually 37. Okay, I don't expect you to know your 37 times tables. You could actually cheat a little bit if you've got your calculator. If you put that fraction in your calculator, your calculator should give you the simplified fraction. Okay, so you could cheat a little bit on that last step. So when we divide those by 37, we get 23 over 27. 
Okay, so there's the final answer. Okay, so this repeating decimal is written as 23 over 27. Okay, so I hope that makes sense now. Just remember, step number two can change. If you've got one single number that's repeating, like 0.3333, you are just finding 10x. If you've got two numbers that keep repeating, like 282828, you would work out 100x. And if you've got three numbers repeating like this one, you would work out 1000x and so on. But all the other steps are the same. And just remember to simplify your fraction where possible. Okay, so that's all from me for today and goodbye.